Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Castile, where we will soon to be Spain, the Kingdom of Spain, and the Emperor of that land. And that land will soon be named something. Um, since we're probably going to dis- yes, so, speaking of which, since we're probably going to discover this episode, this is probably going to be the last episode you guys, you guys can submit, you know, suggestions of land. Um, actually, the thing is, I didn't think of this before until somebody pointed out, but there might be actually two or three continents over here, you know, divided up, so, you guys could actually, like, I'll take, like, the top two or three comments and decide what the names of these lands are and use them to my own benefits, so, yeah, don't think that just because... It's because your name wasn't chosen for the initial land that your name will not be chosen. Because there could be there could be another continent over here where we can actually name your land, whatever land you wanted to name it. Okay? Okay. So onwards to business. Uh, we keep building up stuff and we keep being at war with France. Who are jerks? Because I wanted to just be a peaceful colonizer and not really have to deal with France. I mean, honestly, honestly, I wasn't really thinking I'd really have to. Why do I have, like, one ship armies over here? Okay, there's a bark that just is, like, one. I don't like that. Let me make sure that's not happening any part of my other navy. Yeah, you guys can keep splitting up because I don't really care about you guys. Um, you know, I better combine these guys right here because these guys need to be combined. But, yeah. Yeah, six, 18 ships is way more powerful than just 13. So, yeah, let's get these back in Converting. This is my trade node. What are, you, what are you talking about? Portugal does not own this trade node. Yeah, th there we go. I was like, Portugal does not own this trade node. This is this is basically my trade node. Okay. And by the way, do we have a merchant somewhere? Because I know we do have a merchant somewhere. Because uh, I'm gonna try to start forcing down trade a little bit more into this region. Oh yeah, we're collecting from over here too. I think actually I'm going to recall the merchant from over here. What I'm going to do is actually, ooh, so there's a trade node somewhere over here, alright, so uh, as far as we know guys, we already know that there's some type of land right over here, we don't know what it is, but there's some type of land, there's some type of land over here, this is what I love about the trade nodes, is that you can use these to kind of figure out where land is, so as we follow this, this path right here, we could probably figure out where good pieces of land are, which could connect to our trade node, which then we can use the force down to get more to give us more land. Shoot. Okay, so I'm gonna go send in my good general. Um let's hope I'm not too late to where they will crush my army. Uh yes, I I do believe since they did take a river crossing, and I do have an insanely good general. Uh they have an insanely good general. This is Okay, what I'm going to have to hope is that is that our good friend Portugal are not going to be stupid. They're going to come into this battle. Come on, Portugal. Come on, Portugal. Yes, they're not going to be stupid. They are smart. They are smart. They are the smart Portuguese. Okay, because if we win this battle, we basically destroy all the French army, which was a pretty much a, a fluke. And, oh my goodness, the worst time for this guy to die. Oh my goodness, really. You had to die right in the middle of battle. Oh my goodness, I am so mad at you. That ruler infuriated me beyond belief. Okay, but hopefully hopefully the Portuguese have a better ruler and we won that battle. Um, we're going to go chase down this army because this is our only chance, honestly to God. This is our only chance to defeat them. Um, I know, I know, I know. I'll be getting there in a second, okay? Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Gosh dang it. I, I, this, this was a close one. Okay, so let's just try to chase down this army. I'm hoping, I'm kind of guessing where they're going to be. I can't actually, like, physically know where they're going to be, but I'm going to try to guess it. Okay, so they're probably going to Paris. So we can, we're probably going to go that same way. So we want to get, we want to destroy this army before it, like, reheals. Which is going to be hard now that I think about it, because now we're entering big. Dang it. Okay, never mind. Retreat, retreat. Get back into, get back into a nice land. Destroy this little one army. Yeah. Didn't even have to have a battle. Oh, they're chasing me. They're chasing me. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna hold up shop right here because I'm pretty sure right here is a mountain terrain region. At least I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. The mountain terrain region's right here. Like, let's go right here and hold up right there. So that if they do attack me, we have not only mountains, but we also have river crossings all the way around us. So we should, in essence, be protected. 
also, I should boost up my stability because I don't like having low stability. It stinks. Okay. And now that we finally have our militaristic leader, it's time for our final expansion. Uh, let me guess. It's because this is a colony. Let's just. I just want my conquistador or my admiral. Requires an explorer, costs 50 diplomatic power. I hate you, world. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, yeah, it seems like the Portuguese army is being destroyed. Um, yeah, not much I can really do about that, except just kind of say, sorry, Portugal, you guys should not send your army out. The Peasants' War is happening with someone. That kind of stinks. Okay, they are chasing them. That's one thing I won't allow. If you, you guys don't get to be in, You guys won't get to walking through my land. Cause that's my land. You guys don't get to walk through my land. Don't you dare chase them any further. Okay. No. You guys don't get. No. You don't get, You guys don't get to do that. Yeah. 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 Get back. Get back. Yeah. That's that's my friend's land. You don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. Okay. Good. Okay. So yeah. They're coming after me. Um. What I'm hoping is that we're both we're gonna get a really good river crossing. Not only a river crossing, but a uh, mountain terrain bonus. Because that will basically save our butt right here. We'll be able to fight them if we have... Nope, they did not get any of that. Kind of stinks, so we just lost all that. So I'm just going to retreat. There's no point There's no point in ever fighting a battle when you don't have to. And I didn't retreat far enough until these guys are going to... Keep running. Keep running. Ah, dang it. Yeah, this was this is not a good idea for me to fight France, especially as weak as I am. And as you guys can see, that just happened. Shoot. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in your wars anymore, England. Sheesh. Okay, you know what? Can we just peace out? I don't really care. Okay, do you need money? Is that is that what you need? Do you need to feel like a big boy? Yeah, no. They they they. France knows it. It smells blood. It knows it could win this pretty easily. Uh, I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now, England. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a peaceful colonizer. I didn't even want to deal with you guys. No, you guys are the ones that want to provoke a conflict. Yeah, you guys are the ones that want to provoke a conflict. I'm happy of just being this. And if it is the fact that maybe France declared war and tried to take Cordoba. I don't care. You guys should have just let them. It's not even like you guys should really own land over here anyways. <sighs> okay, so I'm, I'm really inflamed right now. But it, you know what this means. We're going to have to build up an, our own little army over here. And suffice to say, I'm going to try to get what I need. But I don't know how effectively we're going to build up an army when we have literally... Yeah. Portugal, don't be an idiot. Please do not attack yet. Wait until my new army's built. Seriously, I'm, I'm being mad at you. Okay, so now, now that we finally got this, we can finally get our world explore. The good thing, the only good thing about this, people, is that we get to explore out of this. So yeah, you guys go start exploring that land. Um, somebody just rang the bell. It's kind of cool. Seems like somebody destroyed my trade power too. That doesn't. That's not nice. I don't know who did that, but I'll destroy him if they do it again. Okay, we're gonna go combine our new army right here. And let's see. France is stupidly carpet sieging me. Oh wait, now they're not. Now they're not carpet sieging me when I say they're stupidly carpet sieging me. Yeah, I better get out of this war as quickly as possible because this is not This is not one of those instances where I'm gonna win anytime soon. Oh my goodness, how much army yeah, the difference here is that there were just way too many French soldiers. So, is there any chance you guys would accept a defeat by me? What would you guys want? Annul all my treaties and France gets Barcelona. <sighs> Shoot. Right. Annul all my treaties, France gets Barcelona. Can I concede a different province? Because that's actually a pretty good province right there, France. Oh, no. We turned course to Aragon. Oh, yes. Heck, yeah. <laughs> I thought, sorry, guys. I thought they meant that they wanted to actually take the province. No, you guys could. 
If you guys want to have that one little dinky province, you guys can have it. I mean, as long as you guys don't take it, I'm fine. And yes, England's going to be pretty mad at me for peacing out, but this... What are you guys going to do? I mean, you guys didn't give me much... You guys didn't really give me much, like, help in the war, so... If they're going to be mad at me for conquesting, I'm going to be... I don't really care, because now I'm having to take loans to build up an army again, okay? I'm pretty, I'm pretty mad about what went down there. Like, I, I know I'm also pretty much should say I'm a coward too, but I don't care about that. And by the way, let's get our conquistador. So now we have a conquistador and a soldier. So that we, once we discover land, there we go. First, first sightings of land. Let's just like discover a little bit upwards of the coast. Ah, the first land, everyone. The first land. And once we discover that. Okay, send him back. Yes, okay. We got our first land, everyone. We got it. We finally have what we need to figure out. Oh, shoot, don't die. Don't die. Don't die, guy. Don't die. I still need you for future adventures. Mm-hmm. Come on, there we go. Whew! Moment I thought I was going to die. Okay. But yeah, create an army for our nation. Yay, I love that event. Okay, but... Yeah, well first, we're going to have to deal with a lot of things. One of the things that we're going to have to deal with is building up a new army. Now that our old one has spontaneously died. So that's good. Um, second thing, and then once we do that, we're going to have to reconquer this place. Which is not going to be that hard because they really don't have a powerful ally. But, yeah, it's going to be on a side note. But, <clears throat> let's go back over here and keep exploring the new land. Um... In fact, let me get a cog over here. Actually, let's get let's just combine this army with this guys. And what we're going to do is we're gonna like send a good force of four soldiers. Four soldiers is all you really need in your world, but four soldiers nonetheless. Combine it with this army right here, and then we're gonna go send them to the new world and start exploring and conquistadoring. Like we wanted them to. So yeah, get our conquistador Fernando Porcello. Or Portocalo. Something like that. Something. Something like that. The f no, something's not loyal to us. Yada yada yada. I don't really care. Francis is always gonna fight me for this one, so I don't think he's gonna ascend anytime soon. That's kinda sad, but it's probably the truth. Okay, get on these boats. Okay. And we're gonna go send you guys all the way over here. Let's go. Two of our greatest are Explorer and our Conquistador on the same boats. This is definitely a historic event for everyone to see. Mm. Alright, we just have to wait a little bit because sea travel, as you guys know, is long and boring. Yeah, if you've ever been on a boat, it really is like, at least like old-timey boats, they were really like long and boring to be on. Let's just keep building all these kind of troops. It's a good thing I have a pretty good manpower recovery rate, otherwise I'd be pretty mad right about now. Okay, ignore demands! Yeah, let's ignore demands. I like prestige a little bit better. Okay, so let's see. Transport our ships. Yeah, get these guys off of here, because I already know it's going to take a while if I don't get these guys. And there we go! Discovered the new world on October 12, 14... What? Uh... No? This is definitely not Christopher Columbus, okay? I can almost tell you for a fact, this is definitely not Christopher Columbus. I discovered it two years before he did. Wow, Fern Fernando's just getting, like, no credit here. Like, it feels like, feels like our friend, uh, okay, so let's see, how much would we... It feels like the credit of... What was his name? That guy's name. Um... This guy. Basically, Columbus took all- that is named Columbus! Columbus took all the credit for Fernando's work, and I- well, I'm almost done, okay? I have five minutes. Ah, gosh dang. This is why- this is why sometimes I wish I was on my own, people. Just so that I wouldn't have this con- like, constant interruptions, especially when I'm trying to, like, kind of do my work here, but, yeah. We have colonial regions, this is in the colonial Guatemala region, but, yeah, we officially did what we had to do. And now we can actually start exploring this land a little bit better. That's cool. And with these guys, I'm going to go send these guys back because these guys will die if I don't send them back. Oh, my goodness. 
yeah you guys go follow the set path you guys are you guys are doing I think I probably will discover this part of the region here because I'll make it slightly quicker for my people and you guys go start exploring more land over here and I know you'll get into fights with natives luckily we have enough manpower reserves to recover and if not, then I'll just go find a little tiny nation to declare war on. <laughs> Iron ore problems! Dang it! I hate when that event happens. Okay. Yay, no natives wanted to fight me. Yeah, just keep exploring this land. Let's figure out how big this continent is. Or maybe it's an island. Ooh, maybe this could be an island. I mean, we honestly don't know. We don't know what this new world looks like. We don't even know if there's a middle passage. The Naples improved relationships has been improved 100%. That's good. Uh, seems like there's a war between Denmark and them. I don't really care. Let's see anyone else I need to improve relationships with anytime soon. England, you guys hate me right now, but it's your own dang fault. You guys didn't fight the war properly. Okay, I got a merchant that's doing nothing, so I think what I'm going to do is transfer trade up from here. Yeah, just transfer trade. So we gain a little bit more. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the node that goes to right there. So there's got to be at least two continents over here. I just don't know where they are. You discover that node right there. I mean, discover this little trade place right there. That way we have a little bit quicker access. Okay, we're destroying this. And it seems like my hypothesis is that this is probably just a... Uh, it's just a regular... Place. I don't think this is actually anything special. There we go. There we go. We discovered a little bit more. And that way it makes it a little bit quicker for... Yeah, let's get that little place right there too. That way it makes it a little bit quicker and more direct for us to actually go discover places. Yes. I'm finally... Finally, people, we're finally starting to colonize. And we have two explorers right now exploring the world. That one's exploring the sea. This one's exploring this land. Uh, I'll be right back, people.